video games, YouTube, video games, YouTube, video games, YouTube, every day, all day, all summer long. Hi, his coach Chris King here, and if your blood is boiling because I just decried how your kids are spending their summer holiday, I have some good news for you, as well as some bad news. But first, I'd like to take you a deep breath and calm down. Yes, I understand that it's frustrating, and sometimes you want to tear your hair out because you, when you see your kids plant themselves in front of the TV, computer, or just even their phones, and wasting their time and their life, isolated in their own bubble, and turning their brains to mush, and ruining their eyes all at the same time. Seriously, what's wrong with kids these days? Whatever happened to enjoying the weather, taking a hike, building a fort, or hanging out with friends in the mall? No, no kids don't do that anymore. Nothing seems to interest them. All day, all they want to do is stay home and be in front of their screens, chatting with their friends, sharing pictures, and don't get me started on those pictures. It's crazy what goes on with these kids. It will scare and shock you at the same time. I'm sure you know exactly what I'm talking about. We've all read it in the news. Kids sending inappropriate pictures to one another, then getting taken advantage by friends they've only met on the internet. The bad news is, whatever you think actually happens is worse than you think. I'm convinced that the internet and social media is ruining our kids' social skills. And that's a little ironic if you take a moment to think about it. Thanks to the video games, YouTube, and social media, I'm seeing a whole generation of self-centered, self-absorbed children. And not only will this cause a lot of issues and conflicts in your family, but it's going to be even worse when they have to deal with employers in the future. Mark my words. That being said, here comes the good news. In fact, after being around kids for all these years and having to personally work with over a thousand kids, I think it's more than just good news. I think it's fantastic news. And here it is. Kids are kids are kids. And there are three things that they love that they will never, ever change. Your grandparents love these three things. And your grandchildren, grandchildren will love these three things. Want to know what they are? Well, for 1995, I'll tell you what they are. No, no, no. I'm just having some fun with you. Yes, having fun. That is one of the three things that every kid loves to do. Have fun. And in order to have fun, kids love to play. Now, I think these two things are kind of obvious, and I don't think I'll get a lot of disagreement from you. However, the third thing that kids love to do is a little less obvious. And a lot of times, kids themselves can be talked into thinking that they don't want to do this third thing. But trust me, when kids are allowed to ex freely express themselves by doing this at their own pace, they all love it. Can you guess what it is? It's learning. Deep down, every single child that I've worked with in my entire life, and like I've said, I've worked with over a thousand, they all have a sense of curiosity and a deep, deep desire to learn things. They know that it is a survival skill and it's instinctive. Now, keep in mind, they may not be interested in learning what you as a parent want them to learn, let alone what some teacher or some unknown government official wants them to learn. But nonetheless, they do love to learn, period. And when they put their minds to it, it is incredible how quick they can remember and absorb things. All you need to do is provide them a proper motivation and an incentive to direct their focus and energy on the right subject. And they will drop those video games and YouTube and dive into learning with new interests. The trick is to make sure you incorporate the two things that every child likes to do, and that is to make it pl make it into a game so that they can have fun. And as long as you're doing that, even the driest of subjects will become interesting to them, even math and English grammar. Yes, even math and English grammar. And you can and will motivate your kids into love learning these subjects as long as you can turn it into play and have some fun with them. So here's one quick example of what you can do. One thing that a lot of kids like to do 
And this works really well, especially if you are working on, if your child needs to work on writing skills, is to create a quick video and a quick play. Now, this doesn't have to be perfect. perfect progress is always better than being perfect. Have fun with this. Um, talk to your talk to your son or daughter. Figure out what you you know. Let's let's make a video together. Come up with the characters. Now here's the key. In the beginning, you make sure you're writing down everything. So make some quick notes. But we want this to be really an improv. After we get the basics down, come up with the characters that you want to do. Come up with the setting, and then come up with the plot. And I probably, depending on how old and how interested your kids are, it's not even use that word to start with. Come up, what do you want to happen? And ask questions. Okay, and then what happens? And then what is she going to do? What do you think would happen if this happened? Ask these pointed questions, but make sure your child is giving you the hints. Now remember, we don't, we're not writing this down word for word. We're getting the ideas. And then... Decide who's going to be the two characters or even three. Get some more people involved. Get the whole family or some friends involved. And then set up a phone or a camera and video it. Remember, we want to keep this fun and exciting and run with it. So I, then once you do that, you can do if they like it, do it a couple more times. But it will get their creative juices and their English going better. And then when they go to write a paper, they can use those skills that you just taught them through play. Now this works so well when we can start off with something that's fun, that's interesting, and move it on, that move it back over to a subject that we want our children to learn. It, it goes very easy. So let me tell you about Mike. Before Mike came to me, and let me tell you something about him. He's an incredible genius. He is super smart. He can memorize all kinds of things, um, like all the presents when he was excited about presents when he was younger. Loved, loved learning, loved doing new things until he got into a school. And now he was forced to do it the way they wanted him to do it and learn things that he had no desire to learn. So he lost all interest and lost it so much that this genius is now failing everything, hates going to school. It's a fight for homework every night. It's a fight to get him up to bed, to school. And then we started working with him. And when I started working with him, I decided to start making it fun again. So the first thing I did was to create, we were going to work on some history, so we created an archaeological dig. And these are really easy. This is something else you can really do at home. Just took some old old things that are kind of antique but not really valuable and put them in, in, a, in the dirt, like in a garden that they weren't using. And then we set up lines to, um, for the squares. And then we did the dig. As they, as they were digging, him and his sister, we, had, we were marking down in our notebooks what we were finding, where we were finding, and what we thought might be the purpose of the objects. Before we were even done, they go and run into their parents saying how much fun they had. And we had their, um, we, and then they came back and we started writing an essay about what kind of civilization they think that these things came from. It was fantastic. Now, a year later, I'm still working with him. And over this summer, he's texting me. Can you give me another essay to write? Is there anything else I can do? I don't have anything to do, and I'm afraid I'm going to play video games. And I don't want to get into that habit again. I can't, in the summer, asking for essays. Because he doesn't want to play video games. But he's not quite mature enough yet to come up with it on his own but he knows enough to text me isn't that what you want now of course every child is different and you're going to need to come up with your own ways to help inspire your children and i hope that the trick that i just the tricks i just gave you can start but no matter what you do the trick is always to make it into a game always make it into play so it's fun and and enjoyable for everyone. So the good news for you is that we've worked with so many children through the years. We've come up with hundreds and hundreds of these activities. So you don't actually have to reinvent the wheel. We just need to match your kids to the right activities because not every activity is going to work well for every child. 
And in a, but once we do that in a very short amount of time, they won't be able to help themselves but to love learning, even math and English. Now, I obviously don't know your kids, and one size does not fit all. So if you're interested in figuring out a way to help motivate and inspire your kids to love learning again, I would love to be able to help you do that. I put together a quick form for you to fill out just so that I can learn about your specific children and what's going on with them. You can click on the button below to fill out the form. I'll take a look at what's going on and then we can schedule a time where we can jump on our call and I can show you the give you the best recommendations that you can do with your children right away. Just click on the button below and if that's a thing you think will be beneficial to your child. One, just um, of course, if you think you'll need more than just a single call and you would like to explore bringing your kids into our learning center, we can also talk about that and see if it's a fit. Either way, my goal during our time together is to help you come up with specific steps designed to turn an activity into play so you can make learning math and English fun for your kids. Just click the button below this video and we can get started. Yes. I understand that you may even feel like it is a lost cause, and I understand that you probably have tried everything, but believe me, as long as we can design a game that will be interesting for your, your kids, they will drop the video games with you too, and, and do these things with you. I've seen it happen so many times before. As it happened to Mike, it can happen to your kids as well. Just click on the button below this video, and let's get your kids having some fun and get them to love learning once again. Click the button below and so we can schedule the call and start having fun. We'll talk soon. Have a fantastic day.